So we want to answer the question, is goat farming really profitable as people say? Um, I am sure. My name is Nobat, as usual, and I am here today with my partner, Lucy. Hello viewers, my name is Lucy. Thank you. Lucy has been uh, my partner in setting up all this and then, uh, you know, putting everything together. And today, we want to talk about how you can make money from God's farming. In simple, we want to answer the question, is God farming profitable? So, there are two ways of God's rearing. One, you can decide that you are going to rear God's, you are going to fatten God's, for a certain period of time and sell them off. Secondly, you can decide that you're going to bring in goats, female goats, and have them reproduce so that you can sell their uh, offspring. How does that work? So, if you decide to take the path of fattening goats, this is what you need. You need, of course, the setup of your farm, uh, you need your land, you need uh, uh, the structures and the rest. I'll just go into the details of how you make, you make uh, the money. So in this case, you will mostly be dealing in the he goods. So you go to the market where you can get goods. And when I talk about the markets, uh, there's a separate video where I talk about uh, where you can get goods to bring in your, to stock in your farm. So you go to the, the different markets bring in your goat and set a target. So in this case, let's look at a number like, like 20 goats. So you get 20 goats, 20 he goats. You bring in your farm and you say we are, ra we are rearing these goats for six months. So keep your calculator closed. Let me get uh, my phone here. So you go to the market, get 40 goats, bring them and you want to keep these goats for six months so typically in uganda uh, you get goats uh, depending on the region that you are in this region where i am uh, a, a, a he goat of a reasonable size goes for around 100,000, between 80 to 100,000. if you're in kampala it's a different story but still the, the concept still applies to all the regions so we'll take uh, my region, and we say we are getting goats at 100,000, and we are getting four, I mean, uh, we are getting 20 goats, 20 goats at 100,000 each, Ugandan shillings. That is 2 million. So you bring in these goats, and you inject in resources that are sufficient. The injection, you make sure they are getting the best veterinary uh, treatment, which of course is not as expensive as people might think. You get um, things like uh, the warmers in place, you, get, you give them water, you give them um, salt, you give them the best treatment for six months in an enclosed place, for instance, if you can. If you can't, even if it's not enclosed, it's still the same case. So you're storing them, you're keep rearing them here in northern Uganda for six months. And the average weight, let's say you got them at, uh, at the time, by the time of getting them, they were about eight kilograms. Mm? So six months down the road, the estimated weight that they will be is about 15 kilograms. If you uh, give them the treatment that I've just been outlining. So 15 kilograms, you sell them off, not in the local market. Not from, not, you don't sell them in the market from where you bought them. So now you look for a better market. In this case, let's say Kampala, because that is where we target. We go to Kampala, where the goods that we bought at 100,000, if we had bought them from Kampala, it would have been probably for 200,000. Now we got at 100,000, we have kept them for six months and we are going to sell in Kampala. So in Kampala, typically a goat of 15 kgs goes for around 350 to 450 in the market. So you get your, you get your, your 20 goats, 20 goats, 
you multiply by the amount you're going to sell, let's not aim for the highest. Let's say 300,000. 300,000. That is 6 million shillings. So if you, um, if you deduct the expenses and the costs of operation that you will incur, and in this case, the most significant is the cost of transport, which is about 700,000 from, uh, from the northern part of Uganda to Kampala, if you're hiring a truck to transport your goods. And then the cost of, uh, of operations along the way, like uh, picking the goods from uh, the market that you bought them from to your farm and looking after them for six months. So from my experience, taking care of 20 goods, I estimate it, uh, taking care of them for six months, I estimate it at around 1.2 million shillings. Then you add the cost of transport of 700,000, it comes to about, about uh, 1.9 million shillings. So if you deduct 1.9 million shillings from this, that brings you to a net profit of 4.1 million shillings in a month. Now, that is when you are only dealing in 20 goats. I know a lot of people have the capacity to even go beyond that. So you, you keep multiplying your profits by the number of goats that you have the capacity to handle. Let's say you had initially stocked 40 goats. If you stocked 40 goats, you're looking at a net profit of 10 million shillings. So that is one way you can make money from God's rearing. The second uh, way you can make money, and this is a bit long term, and of course more sustainable. The other one is not as sustainable because the moment you sell your goods, your farm is gone. You have to restock. Well, if you're smart enough and patient enough, you can always restock and then start the process all over again. You can do this twice a year of making this kind of profit that I'm talking about. Now, the other way you can make money is by bringing in female goats, keeping them, and allowing them to reproduce and then selling their offspring. And this is what uh, the classical farmers have been doing. This is also what I'm doing in addition to the other, to the fattening uh, approach. So in this case, you go get uh, goats that have not yet produced. You could also get the ones that have already produced if you want to be sure that they will be able to produce. But I don't mind. Uh, if you don't have that much money, you get the ones that are still um, maybe five months, four, five, six months old, you bring them in your farm, but make sure they are not longer suckling. So bring them in your farm, subject them to the best treatment, and uh, make sure they, they are he goats available to mount them. Uh, in about eight months, you'll be having new birth in your farm. They'll start reproducing. And when you double the period that you have kept them in your farm, you see that you're also doubling the number of goats in your farm. And in this case, you can decide to start selling off the offspring and also the initial stock. So those are the two ways that I can briefly tell you that you can make money out of goats, goats rearing here in Uganda. Thank you for watching and stay tuned uh, to our next video. Thank you.